Okay, ji. So last time, what we have done, we have uh, started with the RE model. We have started with the RE model. Or common image configuration. Right. And in the RE model, what we have taken a look. Uh, uh, in between the base and emitter, we have resistance which is equal to the value which is beta times Re with the current flowing over here, we say it is Ib. Right? And in between the collector and emitter, we have a current control source, which is having a value equal to beta times IB with current flowing out into the system. And we also have the resistance, which is parallel to the current control source, which is R0. Okay. So this was the model which we have developed last, last time. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the model and uh, whenever we are going to do the AC analysis, so first we have to look into the DC analysis. Once we have done with the DC analysis, then we will look into the AC analysis. And for the AC analysis, if it is, uh, let's suppose, the common emitter configuration or common collector or which is also called the emitter follower configuration, then we are supposed to use this model or this model is also for common emitter as well as for common collector configuration right and uh, last time i have said to devise a model for uh, that was an assignment that you have to devise the model for the common base configuration right because 
So if you have gone through it, so this will actually have given you an ample information how the model are going to be devised. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, so So uh, let's see one of the circuit which we have seen previously uh, in the fourth chapter. And the circuit was actually common emitter fixed bias computation. So the circuit was common emitter fixed biased configuration circuit, right? And in that case, what we had, we had basically a simple circuit in which, in which we have the resistance RC it is being fed with the DC biasing source VCC as well as we also had Hello, Yes, sir. We have okay, but question here. Acha, acha. Okay. okay. So, uh, what we have, we have basically RC as well as we have. RB, right? And with that, we have the transistor, and the circuit is connected something like this, in which we have the emitter, base, and collector, and the base is connected to the one end of RB, as well as we have the capacitor which is connected over here through which we are providing the input signal and we say let's suppose the capacitor is c1 over here as well as as well as the emitter is directly connected to ground and through the uh, collector we are taking the output over here. and this is c so this is the same circuit which we have seen previously for the one which is common emitter fixed bias configuration, right? Now in this circuit, again, what we have to do first, we have to do the DC analysis. And to do the DC analysis, you know what to do. And once we are done with the DC analysis, so then we will start with the AC analysis, right? And in the AC analysis, what we are supposed to do, we will see that uh, the capacitor C1 and C2, they will be behaving as a short circuit in case of AC analysis. And in case of DC analysis, you know that C1 and C2, they work as an open circuit, right? So C1 and C2, when they are being short circuited, so how the circuit is going to look like, let's see, as well as the DC biasing sources uh, like uh, over here is VCC. So they will also be short circuit because uh, the DC biasing source will only be used uh, for the DC analysis. So this means uh, the other end of RB and RC, they will be connected to ground as well. So now, uh, now let's see how the circuit will look like. So we have the transistor with base, collector, and emitter, right? Now, the one end of uh, the base is connected with RB, as you can see in the circuit, 
base is connected with RB. <clears throat> so RB, the other end of the RB is connected to VCC. But now the VCC Sir, I was chilling. Now the VCC again. Again VCD. Hello, आवाज आ रही है जी? इंसान बनो डी आवाज आ गई। Yes sir, अभी आ रही है। Okay जी. So uh, we have a transistor, base, collector and emitter and uh, if you can see the RB is connected to the base and the other end of the RB was connected to VCC. But now in case of AC analysis, the DC uh, biasing source will be grounded. So when it will be grounded, so what we are going to see that the base is connected to RB, right? And the other end of RB was connected to VCC, but now as VCC is being uh, no more in the circuit, so this means RB will be directly connected to ground. Are you with me? Yes. Similarly, if you see the... Yes, sir. Similarly, if you see the collector, is connected to RC and the other end of the RC is connected to VCC but VCC is no more in the circuit for AC analysis. So this means RC will be directly connected to the ground. So if you see in this what we have, we have the collector is connected to RC and the other end of the RC will be directly connected to ground. Right? <clears throat> Are you with me? As well as if you see the emitter is yes, emitter is directly connected to ground. So this means in this case emitter will be directly connected to ground as well. Right? Okay, with this what we have we are taking the output across RC. So we say this is V0. And we are taking the input VI over here. So across this, we say this will be ZI when looking from this side. And the current which is going over here into the system we say this is ii right and similarly if you see the i naught is flowing through rc in this direction right so and when looking from this side we have z1 right are you with me Yes, sir. Okay, now what we have, we have, we have the transistor over here, right? Which is having the uh, terminals, base, emitter, and collector. Now, in between that, what we have to do, we have to place our RE model for the common emitter configuration circuit because this transistor is connected in the common emitter configuration circuit, right? So instead of this, we will place the our RE model over here, right? Now let's see how we are going to place our RE model over here. So we have the same circuit. So first we will just draw the RE model. The RE model is, in our case, is beta times RE, 
which is in between base and meter right and we have also the current controlled current source which is beta times ib with that we have parallel to that is or r not and this is our current right now if you see in between base and emitter we have beta times re and in between collector and emitter we have the current controlled current source which is beta into ib and with that as we know in case of uh, current source we also have normally a very high resistance which is in our case is r not now if we see our circuit just over here so if you see at the base we have rb which is connected right so one end of rb is connected to the base and the other end of the rb is connected to the ground so if you see what we can do over here we can from the base we can connect rb and the other end of the rb is connected to ground right and with this we are applying vi over here and from here when looking from this side we are finding zi right which is in the circuit which we have already mentioned right and looking from this side we have zi over here and over here the current which is flowing is the current which is flowing over here is i uh, into the system okay. now when looking at the collector so the with the collector what is being connected over here is if you see with the collector is uh, rc which is being connected right and the other end of the rc is grounded so what we can do at the collector we can connect we can connect RC and the other end of the RC is being connected to the ground, right? And over here we are we are actually taking the output V not over here. And when looking from this side, we actually find the Z naught, right? <clears throat> as well as if you see, the emitter is directly connected to ground, right? So the model is actually in base and emitter. So this means the other end is directly connected to ground. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Come up, sir. Okay, you are understanding what we what we are doing over here. Yes, sir. Or shall I repeat it? Repeat it. Yes, sir. 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 We have this circuit, right? Which is the common emitter fixed pies configuration circuit. Now, uh, for this, what we need to do, we first we need to do uh, because if it is being required from us to do the AC analysis, so for every circuit that need to have the AC analysis, before that we have to do the DC analysis. And the purpose of doing the DC analysis is to find the Q point or the point of operation of any uh, circuit which is being connected in the network. Now, uh, for DC analysis, we have done in the last chapter how we are going to do the DC analysis. Now, in the AC analysis, what is need to be done that uh, the capacitors, they will be short circuited and the biasing sources, they will also be taken out from 
the circuit for the AC analysis, right? Now, once that is being done, so we will have a circuit which is being transformed something like this. That uh, the biasing source, they are being taken out as well as uh, the capacitors which are being connected, they are being taken, uh, they are being short circuited. And with this, we have actually developed the basic uh, AC analysis circuit. Now, once this circuit is being uh, made, then what we need to do, we need to place the RE model for the respective circuit. If the circuit is a common emitter or common uh, collector configuration, common collector configuration is also called emitter follower configuration. So the same model is going to be used for common emitter and common collector configurations. And uh, as which I have highlighted uh, this, the base emitter and collector, in between these three terminals, we are going to connect the RE model for the RE model for the common emitter configuration circuit, right? Now, once we are going to place our RE model over here, so if you see in between base and emitter, we have uh, the resistance beta times RE. In between collector and emitter, we have the current controlled current source, which is beta times IB. And uh, in parallel to that, there is R0 right <clears throat> so in between if you see at the base we have a resistance that is being connected is rb if you see at the base we have the resistance rb which is connected and at the collector we have a resistance rc which is being connected right so with this what we have done, we have connected RC at the collector and the other end of the RC is being connected to the ground, right? Similarly, the emitter is already being connected to ground. So this means in the model, we have connected the emitter terminal directly to the ground because if you see the other end of beta times RE is also being connected to ground. The current control current source beta times IB is also being connected to the ground and the uh, R0, the other end of the R0 is also being connected to the ground. And similarly, RC is also being connected to the other end of RC is also being connected to the ground, right? And then what we have, we have basically, now we are, trying to figure it out what is the value of uh, zi what is the value of uh, uh, z naught similarly we will find uh, what will be the voltage gain of uh, this overall circuit right and with that if you see the i naught current is flowing in this direction right the ic current is flowing in this direction, which is through the collector. Right. As well as we have a current which is flowing through the base, which is the IB of. Right. <coughs> Now, uh, what we can uh, figure it out from here, that uh, we can find the value of Zi, right? So how we can find the value of Zi? If you see, when looking from this side, from the input side, in this direction, what we can see, so Zi should be if you see there is a resistance RB and in parallel to that, there is a resistance beta times RE, right? So what does this mean? To find the value of ZI, we can say ZI can be taken as RB in parallel to beta times RE. Are you with me? 
यस सर बात समझ में आ रही है जी इफ यू सी फ्रॉम हेयर जी जी सर आ रही है इफ यू सी फ्रॉम हेयर फ्रॉम द इनपुट साइड वी हैव एक्चुअली आर बी इन पैरेलल टू दैट ऑफ बीटा टाइम्स आर ई राइट बट एज वी नो द बीटा टाइम्स आर ई व्हिच इज अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल वैल्यू राइट सो व्हाट वी एक्चुअली इन फ्रेंस फ्रॉम हेयर that as rb is a big value as compared to beta times re because re is very very small value right so if you remember we have uh, figure out the value of re is 26 millivolt divided by the specific current which is flowing through it so as uh, anyway it is a very small value so beta times re is still remains a small value as compared to the rb so what we see that zi is actually offering a very very small value which is approximately equal to beta times re right now if we need to figure it out what is going to be the value of z not right z not when looking from the output side so how we can find out the value of z not for the two port system z not can only be find out if we are going to put the input vi equal to 0 right so how this can be done that to find z not to find z not what we have to do we have to put vi equal to 0 right and when we are going to put vi equal to 0 what will happen that the ii the current flowing at the input will also become equal to 0 because if vi is equal to 0 ii will also become equal to 0 and if you see in the circuit as you can see in the circuit that when vi will e become equal to 0 so this means ii as well as ib will become equal to 0 because when there is no input so this means there will be no base current are you with me yes yes sir so if we are going to find z not the condition is that we have to put the input voltage equal to 0 for the system right and if we are going to put input voltage equal to 0 this means input current will become equal to 0 and when input current will become equal to 0 this mean there will be no current which is flowing in the base of the transistor when there is no current which is flowing in the base of the transistor then how this circuit will look like if you see we have this is the output side right when this is the output side so this means the beta times ib which is the controlled current source in the output of the circuit which is being connected in the collector leg so this means this will become an open thing over here right and when this will become open over here so how we can say that we can if we redraw this thing so the output side will look like we have this is the collector leg we have r not we have rc the other end of r not is connected to ground the other end of rc is connected to ground and the control source this will become an open because the control source is beta times ib right and when ib is equal to 0 so this means this will behaving as an open thing over here right for there is no current when there is no current so this means it is not providing any current to the cell so when looking from this side for z not 
so this means now r c is in parallel to r not are you with me yes right when r c is in parallel to r not so what we can say that z not is actually equal to r c in parallel to r not but as we know r not is a very very big value because uh, it is in parallel to the current control source so this means r c this means that not is approximately equal to r c as r not is very very big value are you with me yes sir ye parallel mein hai to isliye hum choti value likhte hain kyunki parallel mein resistance kam hoti hai agar ye series mein lage hote to fir r not likhte na hum log bilkul bilkul theek hai ji yes sir theek hai agar agar aap waise bhi dekh rahe hain to if if we go into the equation wo kya hai aapka z not agar aapne find karna hai to 1 hour z not will be equal to 1 hour rc plus 1 hour r not hoga na right yes sir yes. rc plus 1 hour r not right so as it is in the denominator so which ever is the small value it is going to be taken और अगर आप उसको जो है आर वन इंटू आर टू डिड प्लस आर टू करके भी देख लें तो तब भी आपको पता चल जाएगा कि इट विल बी द वैल्यू विल बी क्लोजर टू द स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू इन द पैरल राइट सो जस्ट फॉर द अप्रोक्सीमेशन वी आर टेकिंग विच एवर वैल्यू इज स्मॉलर वी से दिस इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू दैट स्पेसिफिक रेजिस्टेंस राइट अगर आप देखें तो वी आर ऑलवेज पुटिंग एन अप्रोक्सीमेट इक्वल टू दी स्मॉलर वैल्यू आई हैव एंड रिटर्न इट इज इक्वल टू स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू आई हैव रिटर्न जेड नॉट इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू आर सी ठीक है जी राइट सो विच एवर वैल्यू इज स्मॉलर वी एक्चुअली टेक दैट वैल्यू ठीक है जी ओके the next thing is we need to find the output voltage right and how we can find the output voltage okay the session is going to stop uh, in uh, less than a minute so i will restart in 5 minutes theek hai ji